Welcome to Ron Will's Money Matters. Increasingly, there are simply haves and have nots. I want to tell you what, this is something, and I've been seeing this for a long time and had discussed it on one of my private sites. And this is something I've seen really just in myriad areas, not just economically, which is where I'm going to focus now, but, you know, just in how people are living, um, relationships, you have the haves and have nots. You know, you have a small group of people who have great relationships and can meet people easily, and then many more people who cannot. Haves and have nots. But speaking economically, this is it's getting close more and more to that. Because if you think about it, who are the haves? These are the people who are minimally rich. I say minimally, that means they got money. Or maybe minimally affluent. They got enough money, they can weather some storms. You know, they they in a uh, well-established six-figure household, either personally or with a spouse or however they do it. And they might live in the right area where their dollar goes a long way, whatever the case. So minimally affluent, then rich, and then uh, wealthy. And, you know, wealthy, they just on a different level anyway. But still, they have. They not worried. They, they not having any stress over paying bills. Let's put it like this. That's a minimum. They don't, they don't have any stress, the regular stress. They don't have to think about, well, how, I'm, how am I going to pay this bill? It's just a question of which income stream they use. So you, you got that situation with them. They have, though. That's the bottom line. That's they have. They have money. They have the means to live well. They are not stressing. And then you got the have nots. Oh, every day is a financial stress. And that's actually a big problem out here. There's just a lot of financial stress, which is in turn is affecting um, health, both mental and physical health. Because if you're in a situation, and it's gotta affect you mentally, if you know you can't pay a basic bill, or you know you can't eat the way you uh, can, or you know you might have trouble getting a job because you need you know, the better paying jobs. You need some type of mode of transportation to even get there, but you can't even afford that. Or if you have that mode of transportation and it breaks down, there's an accident, you can't fix it. Like when I see people out here driving and they got dents in their vehicles and you can tell that dent's been there a long time, that's a money thing. Because me, I get a dent in my vehicle, I'm fixing that joint right away. But I'm, I'm more on the half side. Now I've been on the half not sides, trust me. And of course you got people who go back and forth normally. And then you have, uh, but then you have uh, what the real issue is, the dwindling middle class. That's starting to empty. Now it's emptying in two ways. Um, because there's always been that, re uh, people haven't talked about that retail apocalypse in a long time since before the uh, pandemic shutdowns. But it's still there. You got a lot of places closing. A lot of places closing. A lot of retail chains closing. I remember I was somewhere, I forgot where it was. Uh, I was with my sons and I said there was a, I wanted to get something sp uh, specifically from a certain store. And, you know, I looked it up real quick. I said, okay, let's go over here real quick. Oh, damn, they closed. Damn, the next few ones near here are closed. I gotta go back to my neighborhood, which we still have an open one. But I ain't gonna give the store, because they, they not paying me to talk about them. But anyway. I was like, you know, that's a, it was a store. It's a store that caters primarily to middle class. But if they're closing, that means people ain't buying stuff as much there. However, if you look at stores that cater more to the, I'll say the more, the have nots, the people who can't spend money like that. Have you noticed they not have any real issue? Well, for the most part, the, uh, let, me, let me backtrack on that one. Because you even uh, for this update holiday season, which I mentioned last week, to really pay attention, they're not hiring the same way. They are not hiring people the same way, so that's that's a lot. But whatever the case, if you notice, most of the uh, retail that uh, is geared towards the middle class, they're disappearing. Now, here's the funny thing: of course, if for towards the have nots, the poor people, people struggling financially. Oh yeah, the stores are still there. But here's something that's not talked about. High-end stores, high-end stores, they actually expanded. 
Uh, what's not being said as much is a lot more people are becoming affluent. Many people are moving out of the middle class into the a minimal affluent class, minimally. And that, that's, that's something too. But you increasingly, increasingly, the people in the middle are like splitting apart. Because it used to be, it used to be everybody was calling themselves middle class. That was, that was the largest class, but increasingly that's shrinking. And in turn, much of the retail, much of the services that were provided to them, they're shrinking, they ain't making the money. And in fact, just as a real quick uh, business-wise, just a quick business ch uh, tangent real quick. If you have a product or service that can, uh, that would be used by the upper classes, the halves, the affluent at minimal, rich at best. Oh, if you got something that uh, like really appeals to billionaires, cha-ching. In fact, I have a magazine and it's, uh, it has advertisements for homes that, like the minimal price I saw was one million for a home. <laughs> that was a minimal price. But if you like, if you're a real estate agent, you sell that, you make money. And that's just something, that's just, you know, I just want to give that to you. If you're in a business that caters to a high heel clientele, oh, psh, definitely get into it. Definitely get into it. And yeah, you can have one for a lower heel clientele, of course, or whatever you call it to do. But I'm just saying, you want to make more money. You want to make that money I always tell y'all to make. Look into it. But back to the main subject, just real quick, real briefly, really. It's because there's not a lot to say. It's just a split. Now, one of the things I think will probably happen, this goes beyond just economics. It, it'll get to a point of, you know, the middle class will probably be the police forces and security forces to keep the lower classes from preying on the upper classes and everything else. And there's a lot of other little things that's done. You know, a lot of things that is done and it's a, it's a lot to that as well. But, you know, that is becoming more and more that way. And I would say to all of my listeners, you have to really think about where you want to be. I, I'm un unapologetic. I'd rather be among the halves, you know? Oh yeah, it'd be great to be at the top, the wealthy thing. I'm good now being comfortable. I'm good for now, for this second. I'm always getting going higher and higher, but you know, I th you gotta really think about it because there is so much that, there's so much, so much stress just coming with not having money for stuff. Now, of course, anybody follow me on my men's channel, I'll say, look, uh, you don't need money to get a woman, a mate. You know, you can get one, but you still need money for yourself. And this is for the men and the women. You still need the place to sleep. It still feel good when you have that money. You still feel good if you need to go to the doctor, you can just go. You don't have to think about it. You know, it's, it's a lot to it. And it's going to affect, you got to really look at the economic thing affects a whole lot of stuff. It's going to affect, it's going to affect the political uh, situation. Also going to affect the the uh, social situation. There's a lot to it. There's a lot to it. There's so much I could say. And I'm, like I said, I'm thinking I'm, I'm really be expanding. I'm talking more about, you know, money and how is it affecting just life, period. Because I got I to gotta expand. Because uh, look, uh, money isn't everything. It's just up there with the oxygen. And I've said this before. You need money to really get through uh, life. You know, we're not in a society where we're in a position to just live out in the woods, build our own home, hunt and everything. Because even that, you need money to get licenses and everything. And if some major corporation want that land that you called yourself building something more, oh, guess what's going to happen? And that happens a lot. That's going to happen more because the haves, they're, they're actually expanding and they want some place to live. So anyway, before I go on, because I could have way do a rant on this, but uh, yeah, let me know. Let me know if y'all want me to touch on subjects more like this the overall economy, all right? So anyway, y'all know the deal. Now more than ever, though, let's go make that money.